is Women's History Month, and today we recognize women involved in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And our resident scientist, meteorologist Vivian Rennie, is here with a look into women in STEM Day. Thanks, Neil. Worldwide, women make up nearly half of the workforce, but only 27% of those involved in STEM fields are women. And in 2017, only 16% of all engineers were women. I was a little girl going into sciences, and I... I have a, mo a mother and a grandmother that are largely into science. So we were doing little science experiments when I was very young. And I, I mean, I would say just go after, do whatever you want to do and go after it, go get into the sciences. I mean, it's, it's an incredible way to look at the world. It's an incredible way to learn about the world. And it, it just opens up the landscape for you. In 1970, only 8% of STEM careers were held by women. Today, nearly 30% are, but there's still a very long way to go. And today, meteorologists across the country are wearing purple to bring attention to that gap in all women in STEM as part of the Dress for STEM Challenge. And that is why I am wearing purple today. It doesn't look nearly as purple on our screens as it does in person, but I promise I am still wearing purple Yeah, out there. I see it in person today. It is purple. It, it looks way more purple in person, I promise, and we are really keeping a close eye on that. And it's also Pi Day. It's 3.14. Yeah. I know Dusty Baker was very excited about that as well. <laughs> it's an exciting day, and it's an exciting day to see all of the women in my profession really band really together is. and talk about it. Yeah, and let's talk.